That was a complete and utter nightmare. A total car crash. No pun intended there, Bruno. I could cry. That was heartbreaking and heart-wrenching to watch. We've been beaten by the bin dippers. <coughs> by four goals to nil, a complete and utter devoid of all confidence. Two from Salah, one from Diaz. One more trophies than Sancho, by the way, Top Race, just to let you know that, yeah. And he's only been in England for a couple of months. And Marnie. It could have been any score. We were carved open at will. It was a spit roast in front of the sky cameras, in front of the world that's watching because this is, despite what you might hear elsewhere, the biggest game in world football. It's beamed around the globe. Every man and woman, sexist, will be on the sofa, sofas, watching that game. It was a complete and embarrassment. It really was. We are broken as a football club. Second half was okay, I guess. Sancho didn't do badly. But that's a backhanded compliment. That is nothing I'm going to take from the game. Go, oh, yeah, there's something to build on. Yeah, maybe there's a shining light somewhere. But I don't see it. We bring on a bloody kid in the second half. He did more in the minutes he was on that pitch than the rest of those squad put together. A fucking disgrace. The whole lot of them. And we all know these YouTuber top reds, they're to blame as well. Blamed Fellaini. They blamed Van Gaal. They blamed Mourinho. They gave Ole Gunnar Solskjaer a fucking free reign. And I'll be the only Man United fan tonight who's hurting. Because this isn't good enough. And as for that lanky street of piss, Paul Pogba, we should have done, if Ole had the fucking balls, to put his foot down and do what Arteta's done. With Mesut Ozil and Aubameyang. Getting rid of the lanky street of pisses, the toxic individuals inside that dressing room. And they're doing a hell of a lot better for it. Pogba was walking off the pitch, there was nothing fucking wrong with you. He's a disease, he's a virus, he's a charlatan, he's a fraud, he's a wolf in sheep's clothing. He should have packed his clown suit because the guy's an absolute joke. And if you love Paul Pogba, Pogba fanboys, than the club, you can fuck off with him to never fucking never land. And if things is as bad at Man United right now, you just wait when you go to Real Madrid, lad, when they're waving the white handkerchiefs aloft and booing you like they booed Modric and they booed Ronaldo. He deserved the booze he got at the weekend. His heart's not in it. It's all to put on his show, his dabbing, his dancing, his stupid haircuts. It's getting beyond the joke now. We are, you know, it's heartbreaking what's going on at this football club. And I am putting these YouTuber top reds, they're also to blame with the predicament we're in. And we all know who they are, by the way. You know who they are, and I know who they are. How did our old players on the Glazers' payroll, they'll be happy with that tonight. They'll be celebrating, they'll be dancing in the streets, getting the champagne out. Because they don't know the rivalry between Liverpool and Man United. It hurts to see them doing what they're doing. Especially tonight. And I can't wait for Pogba Lee. Just let him run on the reserves. Do what Mourinho did with, with Fraudsteiger. Do that. Something's got to change here. He shouldn't play a game this season. Just drop him from the squad. Do something. That I ain't go, do you know what? That's great. You know, we're a shadow of our former selves. I've used this analogy before. It's like the Care Bears, right? When Dark Hat took their shadows. All the players are playing for Man United. All the shadows have gone. There's nothing there. There's a dark cloud and, pe and rain pouring down on their heads. And I did say, we're not going to know if the squad is good or bad until Oli Gunnar Nobed leaves. And he's put us in this mess, by the way. He got rid of Fellaini when he shouldn't have done it. He signed Wamba Crapper. He signed Maguire. He signed Donny van der Scheidt when he didn't want him. He signed Bruno Fernandes. And he went missing in action again, playing the part in the Invisible Man. He should have a dunce cap put on his head. Or a cone. A traffic cone. He's a disgrace, that guy. Like a constipated rat. Like a squirrel. It's petulantness. There's no personality, there's no charisma in this team. 
the, the, we are really, we should be shafted. We really have, it's a disgrace. We've got Arsenal next, and then we've got Chelsea. Be lucky to get any points out of those games. I just, I just beg his belief what's going on in this football club. You know, Pope is the spawn of the devil. Get him out of my club. Blanky Street, a piss. And that's all I've got to say.